This is an ECG recorded from a patient with crushing central chest pain. Press pause now, interpret the ECG on your own, and then press play again to hear me interpret the ECG. The rate is 84 beats per minute, and the rhythm is normal sinus rhythm. The axis is at the border of right axis deviated, with a borderline negative complex in lead 1, and a positive complex in lead 2. The PR intervals are normal at 5 small squares, and the QRS duration is normal also. There are small Q waves present in leads 3 and AVF, which can probably be considered pathological in keeping with the other changes present. Specifically, the ST segments are grossly elevated in leads 2, 3, and AVF. They are also subtly elevated in lead V6. The ST segments are depressed in all other leads. There is T-wave inversion in leads 1 and AVL, and probably biphasic in leads V1, 2, 3, and 4. In summary, this ECG recorded from a patient with chest pain reveals ST segment elevation in the inferior leads and widespread ST segment depression elsewhere. There is also formation of pathological Q waves in the inferior leads. The deep horizontal depression of the ST segments in the anterior leads may well represent posterior extension of the myocardial infarction. These ST changes would be seen as ST segment elevation if posterior ECG leads were applied. In addition, the R waves would then look like pathological Q waves. This patient is having an inferior ST segment elevation myocardial infarction with posterior and lateral extension. They should be transferred to the catheterization lab for emergency PCI immediately.